when I was around 14 or 15 years old at school, as we all were, every week we had one music lesson. Then one day he came in with some things. six or seven of the same thing and he put one of, he opened his desk which used to be the way the teachers had a desk in the center and with a lid and he put one of these things in the desk then he went to a cupboard and opened the cupboard and he put one of these things in the cupboard and then he went to the windowsill and he put one of these things in the windowsill then he went to the front row and put one of these things in a boy's pocket and so he put these five or six things around. And the last thing that he had, he hit on the desk. And it went boom. It was a tuning fork. And then all the other tuning forks that he had placed the way I've described also went boom. That's the process of resonance. When this happened, started to chatter and my hair which I had a lot of in those days I was known as the hair <laughs> stood up on end and I trembled and I had no idea why for another 25 years the process of resonance and that's the basis My first sartori, I said, this is the most important thing in my life. But I didn't go and join a monastery, and I didn't even see before when we fought a show. I didn't go to see Bhagwan. I didn't do anything. I just kept doing what I was doing. But the line between what I tasted and me stayed. I, I wasn't there, but the line between me and that space I maintained, I think, throughout from the first moment. When I first went to Pune, that was in 1974, when he was a Bhagwan, not Asha, I went to the morning talk and met him for the first time. And then there were, at that time, there were probably in Pune no more than 100, 200 people, so it was very early days. And this man came in and walked up onto a platform, a little platform, not a high one like he had later and sat down and I looked at him and I said, ah, this man has something that I haven't got but I want. Just by looking at him, that he was resonating and something in me, in the way I'm describing, resonated with him. You know, I have this picture of a a woman up there beyond the world throwing mud pies and she's dead accurate whatever she throws and wherever she hits that's what you're meant to have even if you don't like it and prefer something else and feel bad, sad about it and angry about what happens that's for you to deal with to deal with your anger and whatever else is between you and what is given to you. Just to say yes to everything that happens. Not necessarily to agree with it, but to say yes, well, I have to deal with this now. This is what I'm given to deal with. <laughs> so if you're impatient like that, then it doesn't work. You know, if you're greedy, 